All right, my friend, welcome to the final part of this Kajabi for Beginners mini series. It's been a pleasure having you here and I really hope you've gotten a couple tips and tricks along the way. And if you're starting on Kajabi for the first time, I hope this gave you um, some really valuable tips that you can use to get up and running quickly, right? Because that's what the series is all about. That's what this channel is all about. So to wrap things up, let me quickly walk through a really important subject and that is giving surveys to your audience, like how to learn what people really want, what they're looking for, and the assessments in Kajabi is the, uh, like, they're the perfect way to do so. So let me quickly show you how this works. You can create a new assessment and you, of course you have to name it and give it a description. So let's say test and test. And then after this, you can edit the questions. So for example, you can say, what are you currently struggling with? That would be your, your question. And then let's say you want to choose the format of this multiple choice question. So let's say my first answer could be uh, composing. Let's say I want to add in another possible answer. Let's say orchestration. So, so let's say I want to give them like two, two options and I click save just to be sure here. Okay. Now let's see if this works. So click edit questions one more time. And now this is what it shows up as, right? There's the multiple choice. What are you currently struggling with? These are the two options that they can select. Let's say I want to add another question. Let's say this time it's a paragraph. So let's say, what is your favorite instrument? Shows up there and then they can add in the answer. Um, so they can type that in right there, right? Let's do one, maybe one more, uh, multiple selection. So which of these instruments do you play? And then they can select all that apply. So add my answers. Let's say first one is piano. Let's say the next one is guitar. And let's say the third one would be drums. Let's click save. And now they can click all three. They can click two of them. They can just select one if they want. And you can see this is how simple it is to simply create a, an assessment or a survey for your audience. In order to send it to people, you can click preview and then you just want to copy and paste this link to your people, right? Maybe you send it out in an email or you just send it publicly, whatever you do, just copy and paste this link and people can start taking that survey. So let me show you a really quick example of one of my recent uh, surveys here. Let me just delete this one. So one that I put out was called the next step. So this is basically trying to learn what people want to see more from me for, from a YouTube channel, right? So the first question I asked, when it comes to your music career or business, what's your single biggest fear or struggle? Please be as detailed as possible so I can help you as specifically as I can. And this is a paragraph question. So they can answer this however much they want. These next three are multiple choice questions. What best uh, describes your age, right? How old are you? Um, which of these describes your experience? I'm a beginner, I'm intermediate, I'm a master, for example, right? And then one more question, the ball's in your court. What would you ideally like to see next from me that I don't currently have in my product offering? Another paragraph question. So the only thing that's maybe lacking from this functionality is to really customize it, like to give it different colors, different font styles, but I think to really just get the basic functionality of creating questions for your people to answer, um, and for, you know, you can, you're able to send it to whoever you want to. I think that's great. You know, um, having a survey where you can learn about your audience from start to finish, it's a really cool thing to do. So definitely take advantage of assessments and surveys. If maybe you're feeling stuck in terms of content ideas, or you want to create new products, but you don't really know what to sell. Um, these are very uh, usable, usable and, um, valuable for you and the students. Cause they feel like they can get in touch with you directly. Like they feel like you actually care about them. And so hopefully you can take that feedback and that information and turn that into valuable content in the future, whether it's free or paid. Right? So again, all of that's doable inside of Kajabi, really, really cool stuff. And again, if you want to try Kajabi for yourself to build your online business once and for all, um, they give you a 14 day free trial on their website. But if you use my affiliate link down below, ChristopherSue.com slash Kajabi, then I can get you an extended 30 day free trial, uh, plus two bonus mini courses, absolutely free Kajabi in 30 days and content marketing for creatives, both of which are really valuable and will help you get set up on the platform as quickly as possible and start monetizing your passions very quickly as well. So I really appreciate you watching. Thank you again for being on this journey with me through this mini series. I know it's a lot of content, but I hope it's been helpful and insightful. 
Let me know if you have any questions along the way. You can go through any of the videos again and leave any comments you like. More than happy to go through and hear what else you want to see from this channel. Thank you again. I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.